What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion animation tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out some of the changes that happen to the animation features inside of Lumion 12. In my opinion these changes make the animation functions a lot easier to use, but you can judge for yourself. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's use one of the Lumion example models. In this case, we're going to use the downtown development just because that one is kind of designed for working with animations. So we're going to go ahead and open that up and then we'll create a simple animation. Alright, so we've got our scene here and let's just create a simple animation. And so the first thing we're going to want to do within our scene is we're just going to want to click into our video or our movie creation mode right here. So I'm going to click on movie creation mode and that's going to take me into the mode where we can create our animated movies. So notice how if I click the play button it's going to show you the animated movie that's currently running. And so one of the things I like about this is notice how if you click on the play button it's just kind of showing you bounding boxes where the moving things are instead of trying to render that in real time. That's a nice uh, performance increase piece right there. But what we want to do is let's just create a very simple animation. So we're just going to click into three right here. We're just going to create a new image or a new video. So we're just going to click on the button for record. And so what we want to do is we just want to set this where our camera is going to be moving um, however we want this to move. I'm probably just going to have it move like straight down. I don't want this to be super complicated. So I'm just going to set this so that it can move down like this. So we're going to start by clicking right here to add a camera keyframe. And then we're going to move our camera down and we'll create another camera keyframe. And I'm just gonna click on play real quick to see how fast that's moving through here. So it actually looks pretty good from a speed standpoint. I might take this clip and make it more like, we'll call it maybe six seconds for right now. We're not gonna create a very long video at the moment. We just want it to be something like this. So now we've got a six second long clip that we can now, now we can make some animations to. So I'm gonna click on the checkbox right there in order to go back into our clip view. And so notice how if I click the play button right here, it's going to preview my animation. All right, and so first off, let's go ahead and let's just kind of borrow the effects that are in this scene right here, right? So we don't wanna go through and we wanna create our own. We just wanna take these effects and we wanna copy them. So we're gonna to go to copy effect list. We're just gonna bring them into this new one and we're gonna do a paste effect list. Cause I don't really wanna to have to go through and figure out um, those different effects right now, though it did bring in the movement functions, which is pretty cool. Um, notice how the actual mass movement that was in here got transferred over to this scene. I'm actually going to remove those functions just so we can put them back in and you can see how they work. So we're just gonna get rid of the move functions right here. Notice how now none of your characters or your cars or anything are actually moving around. And so we need to add those using the effects. And so what we wanna do is we wanna click on the button to add an effect. And in this case, what we wanna do is we want to do a move animation. You can also click into animation right here and you can see the options for the different kinds of animation. In this case, we wanna focus on the move function right here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna edit this. We're gonna add a move animation where this person is going to move over the course of our animation. So, and remember for the simple move, all you have to do is set a start and an end position. So we're currently clicked on this and we've set our start position. If I click again, and then I click and drag, we can set an end position like this. And so if we click on the button to preview animation, notice how this pops up a little bar that we can use in order to see how fast our animated person is moving like this. And so if we were to click on confirm changes and then click on the play button right here, notice how that person is going to be moving inside of our scene. So we can use that in order to animate the simpler animations inside of our scene like that. So in addition, if we wanted to, if we needed some more advanced movement, we could also add an advanced move right here. What an advanced move is going to do is that's gonna give us more control over what these people are going to do, right? So for example, let's say that we wanted someone to walk a little bit and then stop walking. So what we could do is we could select this person right here and click on them, right? And we can set 
a keyframe for movement. So at one second, for example, we might want this person to be right here. So notice how that automatically adds a keyframe in here. And this is a little bit different than the way Lumion had this before. So now if we were to click play in order to see this, notice how this person is going to move. Actually, they're not moving at all. And the reason they're not moving at all is because we didn't add a start keyframe. So the start keyframe is going to be where the person starts. So notice how this automatically added that keyframe in here um, whenever I drag this person back at zero seconds. So now if I click on play, he's going to move that far in one second. And one of the cool things about this now is you can move that keyframe, which makes it a lot easier to adjust things like speed. Because previously speed was kind of like really difficult, right? Like speed was something that you had to come in here and you had to like re-keyframe things and all of that. And so notice how if I drag this closer, that person's gonna move faster. If I drag it further, like this, notice how I'm getting a preview in my scene of where that person's gonna be at this point. So this is just a lot better than it was before because now you get control over all of those different things. And I can just kind of watch and his feet were kind of like sliding on the ground. You can use this in order to make sure that someone is moving the proper speed inside of your scene. So I like this a lot better than the, uh, the other function that was in here, the uh, simple move, because what it does is it allows me to preview the way these people are gonna move inside of our scene, just like this, and then adjust them. And so there's other things you can do in here as well, like scale and other things like that. But for right now, all I'm really worried about is just getting this person kind of walking along the sidewalk like this. And so I'm just gonna set this up where it takes that person the entire length of time in order to walk that distance. Now, if I click on the save changes bu button and I click on play, notice how that person is going to be walking right here inside of our scene. And so from there, it's just kind of a question of going through and making sure that you set everyone up in here um, in order to do that. So you could also come in here and use like the mass move function. So if we were to add an effect right here, there's a mass move function, which is gonna allow us to add multiple different animations of movement at once. And so basically what you can do is you can set a path in here by clicking on the place new path. And I'm just gonna click in here and I'm just gonna set a movement like this. And so notice how right now, if I was to click the play button, nothing is going to happen, right? And so the reason nothing is going to happen is because this path that I created isn't actually intersecting with any of the models that are in here. So what I wanna do is I wanna adjust the width of this path like this. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna set this up so any model that's touching the path is going to be animated forward like this. So you can see how I've basically set this so all these people are going to walk across the street like this. And then if we click play, you can see those people walking across the street right here. And we could do the same thing for the cars. So we could edit the mass move and we could add another path like this. So we're just gonna place a new path and we're just gonna set this up. So we'll just say these three cars are going to drive across the intersection, right? So I've set a start and an end for my path. And so what I wanna do on this one is I wanna adjust the width so that these cars are touching that path. And so notice how they're moving very slowly right now. That's not what we want, obviously, because cars are gonna move a lot faster um, than people. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up to, we'll call it 40 kilometers an hour, just for right now we're gonna click on confirm change. Well, now if we click play, notice how those cars are gonna drive across our scene like this, but everything that's touching that mass move box is going to be animated. So then finally, there's one other person in here that needs to be animated, which is this person right here. So we're just going to stop this. We're going to go back to our effects and we just want to go to our simple move function and we want to add a movement for this person. So we're just going to click on this person and then we've set their start position. So we just want to set their end position like this. And we're just going to preview that really quick. So you can see how she's moving in the scene 
And so we could set this so she's a little further along in six seconds if we wanted to, though we do have to be a little bit careful with where our people are walking from. But if we preview this, that's gonna look just fine. We could do the same thing for this person right here, where we're just gonna set a start position or an end position, maybe somewhere like right here. Maybe a little bit further. And I think we're good to go. So now what we have is we have a full on animation with a moving camera, we have moving people, and we have moving cars inside of our scene. So you can see how animating all of this movement is really easy. So then all we would have to do is just jump over into render mode. And in this case, we're actually gonna click on render clip and we're gonna click on the button to render this out. So when we render this out, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take this clip and it's going to render it into an actual video file. So in this case, um, I'm just gonna go with 30 frames per second. I'm gonna leave my quality low just because I want this to go really fast. And I'm just gonna set this to HD and I'm gonna let it render. And so notice how it's gonna create 181 frames. So it has to go through and render every single frame. And it tells me it's gonna take about three minutes. So in about three minutes, we'll come back and take a look at our animation and what we've been able to create. All right, so if we open up our folder and take a look at this, our animation's gonna look something like this. And so notice how you will get better results, obviously, if you put it on the higher settings. I just wanted to do this rather quickly because we're focused on the movements in here. But notice how we've got cars moving across our scene. We've got people walking in our scene and everything just looks a little bit more lifelike. And honestly, the tools to do this, I think have been greatly improved from before. It's just a little bit more user friendly. That's where I'm gonna end this video. I will link to more videos about Lumion 12's new features on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.